Dame Anita Roddick, one of Britain's most successful businesswomen and the uh, founder of The Body Shop, has died. Her family made the announcement just over an hour ago. Dame Anita, the daughter of Italian immigrants, was a pioneer who introduced a range of products that were socially and environmentally responsible. She suffered a major brain hemorrhage yesterday evening. Sophie Hutchinson looks at her life and achievements. Anita Roddick, a pioneer of ethical consumerism who changed the way we shop with her toiletries empire. The body shop transformed her into a multi-millionaire and saw her honoured as a dame. She set up the first store in England in 1976, promoting environmentally friendly products which avoided animal testing. This is to make the face fresh. Her business trips took her around the world where she researched new products, but campaigning was in her blood and she became one of the first to call for fair trade long before it became a widely recognised issue. Back home, an award-winning entrepreneur, she used her celebrity to champion women in business. Anita Roddick's legacy has been to be green before we even thought of it. She was the first person who said, if you bring back your old container for one of her beauty products, she would fill it up and give you a bit of money off. She knew we were using up all the Earth's resources, and she was very, very early with being organic, with being green, with worrying about the third world. But as the success of her brand grew unbeknown to her, she was infected with hepatitis C. It had been transmitted through a blood transfusion while she gave birth to her youngest daughter. Earlier this year, she explained to me with her characteristic strength how it had affected her. Maybe because it's like such a stealth killer, you know, because there's no, so, there's no symptoms as such, um, that it never really hit me. The only time it ever sort of hits me and so I'm thinking in a new language, and that language where the currency is time. Time, however, was already running out for this tireless campaigner who was never shy of pushing the boundaries. Dame Anita collapsed at her home yesterday after complaining of a sudden headache. Her family were at her side in hospital when she died. Sophie Hutchinson, BBC News. Police